He be dressed like a Cuban cab driver. <laughs> work? Y'all yeah. ready to go to work? Yeah. We All right, bet, because it's about that time. Yeah. And got a little yeah. Black Marley, go. The Black Marley, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Black Marley, go. The Black Marley, go. Oh. Now, you know, we would be remiss. Come on. If we walked all the way through the black market and did all this shopping with all these, all these different businesses and didn't get no haircut. Come on. I know thousands of barbers. Come on. But in order for them to come on, I had to go get the coldest. This is my opinion. And a lot of other folks' opinion, too. Plus, my dog, a comedian. So that automatically bumped him up the list. Come on. Yes, sir. And he funny as hell. Come on. And, he, and I knew him as a comedian way before I even knew about the barbershop. Come on. But dog, I be following my nigga on the gram. You'd be surprised the type of clientele that he got. Because the work just speaks for itself. It's like, these are the type of haircuts that you see and want. You ain't even give a damn what the price is. You, Baby, look, I'm going to get one of these. Mm -hmm. That's how cold he is, When bro. niggas show up with a picture? Yeah. When they ask yeah, for a haircut that they know that you did, yeah. that's when you're yeah. doing something right here. Can you give me? I put I put it around. I Not around. only yeah. that, he's so cold, bro. He's sponsored. By these folks right here, they just, they've been looking out for him since the beginning. This bevel, black on, right? Signature fade Come with on. the bevel blade. Mm. When they dropping your haircuts in wraps, Amen. you know you on to something, man. Amen. None other than the Marcus Harvey. Yeah! Glory be to God, glory be to God, man. Welcome to the Black Market, man. Thank man. You hey, me, and man. congratulations thank on you, all your success. Already. Come on. Thank Oh, man, thank you, man. Hey, man, God bless the trap, man. You know what, man? I just want to say I'm proud of y'all, man. Thank you. I really am, man. Like, like you said, we've known each other for some time, man. And like to see what you guys got going on here is just like inspiring. I see how y'all affect like the whole country, whole world, bro. Like, y'all affect the whole culture, and that's something that nobody really be able to like can really claim. You know, I'm, I hear you say a lot of times like they suppressing my numbers, but like the way that your name drops in the streets, bro. Y'all, hey man, God bless the trap. We thank, thank you, Father you, God, for this thank blessed you. place. Let it continue to flourish. Let all things come to your glory in this place. We thank you in Jesus' name. We amen. 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 Bless, amen. bless amen. the trap, bro. What's I'm up, glad bro? that you know the truth. Because yeah. the, the people, the people oh, need to hear somebody else say it. They think I just be saying shit to say shit. Bro, they really trying to, like you said, they trying to suppress the numbers. Yeah. They don't show the real. Yeah. The impact in the streets is real. Right. Yeah, right. bro. Right. Yeah, we so far ahead of the game, we can't even hear criticism no more. We can't. That's we why we had to open people. up the black market to let everybody know you can get some of this too. Clayton, man, shoot, Marvel has, you know what I'm Come saying? Come on, man, Disney heavy. Right. I'm over here like, Disney? <laughs> I subscribe, brother. He in there, man, y'all in there, bro. I, I rock with you. I'm proud to be here, man. Man, give yeah. us a brief intro. You was telling us how you first got into the game, but tell the people, tell the world, oh, man. Yeah. Introduce yourself and all that good stuff. Yeah, um, my name is uh, Marcus Harvey. Some people call me the Marcus Harvey. Um, been cutting hair since I'm pretty much like 12 years old. Started off in the shop in Gwinnett County. Started off sweeping. I was a little fat kid in the shop. They used to call me Bookman, you know what I'm saying? Work. <laughs> Nigga, this, oh, bro, they used to be on my ass. Hey, Buffalo butt, you ain't trying to work. You ain't try to work. It's like 12 barbers in there. So I'm like sweeping up here, cleaning clippers, like making store runs, getting their lunch, all that stuff. You said like, this was in Griffin? No, this was in oh, uh, Gwinnett. Oh, Gwinnett. Gwinnett. Okay. Yeah, like Gwinnett. literally right from uh, down the street from uh, the theater where they have it over there. Like, okay. Yeah. Like the next complex. It's crazy. So um, there's like a little trail behind my apartment complex. I go run, go check it out. You know, one day I saw this little kid sweeping up here and I was like, yo. Asked my barber, he was the owner, I was like, yo, what, how can I get down and do what he's doing? I see y'all giving him cash. Bro was getting cash from everybody. You know, at the end of the day, they just get hit him with five, ten dollars or yeah. a haircut. So that's 12 barbers. So, you know, he coming out peeling out right. Right. So I was like, yo, let me try that. So one Thursday, he let me come through. Worked there for like three, four years, man. And then randomly, 
eighth grade, my homeboy AJ Tamplin. Shouts out to AJ. Uh, I was over at his house, man, and uh, we had these little Walmart clippers. And I, I attempted to cut his hair. It ended up being a baldy. It was supposed to be even. Then it turned into a fade. Are you and cool? then it kind of came to another. And it just kept, it was, two hours later, it was a baldy. So pretty right. much that's where we, where we ended up <laughs> right at that. Right. So, you know, and then that was the start for me, man. He let you cut him again after that? Yeah, now nah, you know, yeah, now nah, he definitely trying to get me get, cut his hair now. Right. Shoot. Yeah. Like now I'm just saying, like in but eighth back grade. Then, was back he a then, repeat? Back customer? then I ran away from it at that point. Oh. I ran away from it at that point. But had to go back to um man, my mom got into a car accident my um going into my ninth grade year. So we had to move to Tennessee. And you know, I'm used to like getting like fire haircuts from like Atlanta barbers. And uh, we in this small town called Morristown. Shouts out to Morristown East. You know about it? He from Tennessee. Yeah, I'm from Tennessee too. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, well, West Tennessee though, from Demar. Okay, cool, yeah. cool. Yeah, East Tennessee, right outside of Knoxville. Mm. Yeah. You know, you know what it is. You know what it is. My family, my mom. Yep. We Everybody live in Knoxville. Everybody talks like this a little bit, like, "Hey, Harvey." You know, what I'm yeah. saying, say your last name a little bit, like, "You know, how you doing with it?" G J. Hey, hey, I love you, yeah. Harvey. You gonna run that football for us on Sunday, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you You gonna run that a gap? Son, I got a lot of money riding on you. That's how they used to hit me with it, yeah. so. You know, wasn't no barbers there though. Like it was a small town, so there's like two barbers. One was like old time, you know, he drank a little bit too much, so he was giving cats the little smiley face oh, lineups. Oh, man. I wasn't letting him do me like that, and the other one was just too busy, so started lining myself up with some rusty clippers my cousin gave me, and then I started cutting cats in the, um, on the team. Then it kind of started growing from there, then came back to Atlanta. Started counting in Atlanta, and it was like, uh, I was at Georgia Perimeter. I was at the 13th grade, as we all know, GPC. Shots out to Georgia <laughs> Perimeter College, you know what I'm 